exclamation already and welcome back to galaxy on fire 2 so for those of you watching this on the youtubes assuming of course i do the recording correctly this time around um you're probably going to be very very confused because this is not this this is not the ship that i was in when we left and that is because I messed up the last two live streams. I um, I lost five hours of footage. Uh, I should say I have five hours of footage, but something is wrong with it in, in one way or the other. So either it's I recorded everything but the video, so I had my commentary and all the sounds but no video, or I recorded the video and the in the game sounds, but not my commentary. So it's uh, the struggles of being a <laughs> content creator, uh, my friends. So um, hopefully this one is 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 working properly this time around. So I'm going to try. I'm going to take a few minutes here to kind of bring everybody up to speed. Hopefully as to what has happened. Most of that five hours I lost, I was I spent grinding out some resources. Uh, I did play several of the main quest lines. Uh, I'll bring you up to speed with the main quest line. Basically, uh, Scientist Chick uh, rejected our our advances, as Scientist Chicks tend to do. Um, instead, she's all hooked on the whole Void thing and trying to figure out what the Voids are doing and why they're so uber special and their, their technology and all that stuff. We went back to Void Space to try to help out her research by gathering some Void Crystals. Uh, that went actually better than I had anticipated it would. Uh, then uh, she kind of, we asked her on a date and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah someday. And then uh, kind of shuffled off and, and shoved one of her scientists on me. And that scientist gave me blueprints for a Cal Calvor drive? Cavor? Kyvor, Kalp, Kador, Kador Drive. Um, basically, the way the blueprints work in this game is that you have to, uh, you get the blueprint for it, and then you have to gather all these resources. So I needed Void Crystals, 50 tons of those, Pyrethium, Doxytrite, Hypanium, Electronics, medical, Mechanical Supplies, Microchips, Optics. It turns out the hardest thing that for me to find was the Microchips because everything else I was able to sort of find along my way it was the Microchips that were tripping me up the most and I needed 75 tons of them. So along the way, while I was gathering these resources, because basically this, this drive allows me to jump anywhere, uh, as long as I have... Uh, energy um, packs, which I have gone through off camera a bit and found a couple shops and I've bought some energy packs so we don't have to worry about energy cells, I mean, at 62 tons of them. So we should be good for several jumps. Um, so that allows me to, instead of having to jump from one system to the next to the next through the jump gates, I can just go instantly somewhere, which is rather fantastic. Uh, basically fast travel. Um, it also allowed me to jump all the way back to the Mito system, which didn't have a direct route to it. Uh, I, I did that just off camera, just for the sake of argument, see if anything was there. There was nothing crazy there, so I, I just didn't more bother with it anymore. Um, that said, uh, we then had to... There's this thing where we have to try to cripple the voids. The voids have been raiding a lot, they're killing lots of people we need to strike back and we need to cripple them. And so the next main missions were around that, uh, trying to, uh, we, we got some help from a guy uh, who, uh, in order to gain his help, uh, we needed to do some missions for him. Nothing to write home about, really. We gained his uh, rep with him. We gained his help. He's going to help us now on this mission that I've already tried to run before and have failed several times at. Um, where we have to actually take a freighter full with a giant bomb on it, take it to the Void homeworld and uh, to their state space station, basically, and uh, blow it all to, to hell. <laughs> uh, and then get out without blowing ourselves to hell, as, as, as the case may be. So 
That's the mission that we haven't done, that I haven't succeeded at yet. I was doing it in another ship. I actually have a brand new ship now. This ship I got, I purchased this. I don't remember if it was on camera or off camera. I think it was on camera I purchased this because uh, I figured I needed, since I kept miss, I kept losing at this mission, I needed some more firepower. This thing has got, oops, I am hitting the wrong, I'm hitting the wrong things here because buttons are not quite in the right spot uh, when I, I'm using a, a remove the border from, they don't have a borderless window option, so I'm using auto hotkey to remove the border and it's, it makes the, uh, the hot spots all off a little bit. Um, so I bought this ship. I don't know. I think it's the Furious. No, it's one of these. I think it's the Furious. I think is the one that I have here. Um, no, I guess this is a, a different one. But I've got like a turret on the ship now, and I got second, you know, primary weapons and all that stuff. So we're good to go as far as the weapons are concerned, I'd say, and as far as missiles as well. Uh, I think we're really good to go there. Um, I did pick up a repair bot, which I should probably actually put on my ship. Um, I should actually uh, equip here. I got the mining beam equipped because I was doing some mining off camera to get some, just to get some, some money. So I can put the repair bot back on here. If I can click it, there we go. Because I think we're going to need that for this mission, even though I'm in a better ship than I was in. I've upgraded my turret as well. And I, in my travels off camera, now this is this is something I did in between streams here. Uh, I decided to try to get some money, try to build up my, my equipment a little bit. And I came upon a, a guy who sold me a location, a map location that I hadn't been to before. I go to the map here, you'll see that I now know of about a place called Pan. And when I went there, there was a guy who was like, hey, I got I got a blueprint for this uh, this this part that you want uh, that would be really nice for your ship. And when I go look at the hangar here, you'll see under blueprints, I've got this road of black hole. And it didn't really require that much. I mean, it requires some energy cells, electronics and stuff, but most of the stuff I had pretty much uh, easy to come by. And what this does, and this is the fantastic part, if I can go back here. What this does is it's, it increases the, the size of my cargo hold. It's basically a miniature stable black hole <laughs> where your cargo can be sent into an unknown dimension and retrieved when needed. It basically doubles the size of your cargo hold. So I, I now can hold up to 360 tons of uh, supplies and other things. So I'd say we're cool there. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's that brings you, that brings everybody up to speed here. If I can hit the back button, that'd be great. Okay, so now that I've brought everybody back up to speed, I want to do the main mission. In order to do that, I need to jump to wherever the wormhole is. It's here in v Vikia or whatever it's called. So I am going to jump directly here and then we're going to see if I could do a better job of this than I have in the past. Maybe this this will be my stream, maybe. He attacked quite often too, I, 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 have, to, I have to say. It's, uh, it's getting a bit, getting a bit ponderous how often I'm getting, <laughs> getting attacked now, but uh, I think we're we're good for a little bit. I've got my repair bot on now, so that should help things a little bit. And then we've got uh, these bastards to deal with. Now I have to wait until Erk arrives. And I know from experience that I need to not get close to the wormhole until he goes through. Otherwise, it's game over. Game over, man. Game over. Now, one nice thing is I have, I have a turret, which means I can, whoop, which means I don't have to aim that well. Alright, 
yeah, Irks, Irks, or whatever his name is, was the guy we had to, like, get on the good side of and all that stuff. Alright. Let's see if I can... Kill this guy. Alright, these, these bastards. These freaking bastards, I tell you. The only problem with the, uh... With the turrets is that they will attack anything that I that I happen to target, even like an ally. So I have to be kind of cautious about when I fire now. Okay, and then we got one more enemy over here taking pot shots at me. Is he gonna hit him? Right, we got three more, or four more coming in. Again, I gotta kind of hang back here a little bit so I don't get too close to the wormhole yet. That's the big pain in the ass of the other game here is that it's like you get too close early on, you basically just lose immediately. Guy's dead. Oh, nope, stop talk. See, that's the problem. It'll target my allies, even when I don't want it to. And because it's an auto target, I can't really. I, I, there must be a key where I can just switch targets or something, you would think, but I, I have not discovered what that key is. There is one, if it exists. Go, and then this guy down here. Nope, don't attack my ally. No, stop attacking my ally. I want to attack this guy. There we go. And he's dead. Alright, good. I do believe that should be all of them. And our buddy's almost to the wormhole, so that's good. We can just head on through. And there he goes. Indeed, I do. We're we're getting there. Just hold your horses. Just hold your horses. Here we go. The wormhole shall consume you. Yes. Now it's a matter of trying to keep these bastards at bay. Come on, come on, kill this guy. Kill him, kill him with fire. Go, he's down for the count. We got this guy here who wants a little bit of a little bit of this action, I'd say. So he shall get it. I'm taking some armor damage, which is terrible because knowing how how hard this is later on, they basically jump things right in on top of you. Go. Alright. Short work of them. Now if I can get up here relatively fast, I might be able to do something. It doesn't actually really matter, it seems like. It's, it's just a script kicks off and then these guys are just right on top of you. It's the only thing I don't really appreciate out of the game is that it's like when it takes control away from you, it then puts you in a situation that where you're constantly getting hit and you can't do a damn thing about it. Um, but, you know, them's the brakes. Almost at the mothership. 
Indeed we are. At least I am, anyway. Might be able to get some shots off on this one guy. Yeah, here we go. Do some damage right up right off the bat. Bam! Yeah, Alright. I have not been able to do that before. I get some, one of these other guys. Uh, it's like they're all hanging back here. Like the wimpy dudes that they are. Oh, oh, here's this guy. I didn't even see him. Thanks for shooting me so I could see you. So I know you're there. Oh, you're bouncing. He's bouncing. Bouncing off of things. Did he just... Did he die? No, he's definitely here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There they are. Die, you bastards. Die, I say. Oh, and here goes the... some point give me control back Act. Are you still alive, Jaren? The engines are dead and I'm stuck in the cockpit. I can't even detonate the bomb. You have to blow up the freighter. It's our only option. I will gladly share the fate of the voids. For the Empire. Don't be a hero act. Use the escape pod. Negative. It's down. You need to destroy the freighter. Alright, and then this is where everything goes wrong for me. So let's see if I can make this not go wrong this time, huh? Okay, there is a lot of shit that's managing to hit me regardless of what I do. I am not cool with. Of course, put me right in the middle of nonsense here. Of course. Why not? Is that missile going to track? Is that missile going to track? Oh, Sorry, you freaking bastards. Alright, so I obviously hit him. Yeah, I'm trying to get out of here, dude. I am trying. There we go. Don't look at the explosion. Don't look at the explosion. Let's get through this wormhole, maybe? Where is the wormhole at? Seems like it would be here. But it is... Oh, it's right over there. Can I just use my drive now? Because I have a, a Kador drive, so you'd think that I would be able to do that, but... I imagine they want me to actually go through... the wormhole. I, I would think, anyway. Just try to keep... Not hitting, not getting hit by these guys. That would be good. Just keep avoiding. Keep avoiding. Sometime today we'll get through. We we'll get through this wormhole. Ooh, that was a great shot. Didn't even, didn't even aim or anything. <laughs> no aim. 
No scope that guy with a missile. How about them apples? Oh, I think we got it. I think we got it. The whole thing exploded except for the <laughs> except for the freighter, which is still there. Alright, finally. Finally did it. After about six tries of me trying to be a hero and just realizing I just, just Man, that was close. Computer, get me Carla on the line. Keith, are you alright? I was worried about you. Is everything okay? Calm down, Carla. Listen, everything's done. The galaxy is saved, and I'm coming to your place for our date now. Be ready. <laughs> okay. Carla, are you waiting for someone? How about a drink, stranger? Okay. So did I... Was that it, though? Was that really it? I'm kind of skeptical, as you can imagine. Some nice electronica, though. Well, <laughs> did, did we, did we, did we make a love to Carla or did we just space her? Jesus, <laughs> this got, this got either sexy or dark. I can't really tell which. <laughs> oh man. So this is going to kind of suck for people who, uh, I watched this on YouTube because you missed most of the, most of the main story. I didn't realize it. I had a feeling that that was kind of going to be the last mission, but I wasn't sure. There wasn't really that many missions, honestly. There was only about maybe 10 missions in the game, right? Like 10 main missions. Everything else was just, most of the rest of the game was just uh, grinding for resources and stuff, which is fine. I, I, don't, I don't have any particular problem with that it's just um i don't know it seemed uh seemed kind of low key a little low ball as it were um obviously there's more there's more to the a galaxy to be seen um there were a lot more uh a lot more systems a lot more stars that i could see on the map that i didn't find uh ways of getting to so I guess the idea is that I guess it's kind of freelancery in that in that regard, where it's like, uh, all right, you, you went through the main quest. It wasn't that great or grand, but it was a uh, it was a thing to to tie everything together. And now you can go find all the secrets and find all the interesting, weird areas to go to. Um, I suppose I guess that's how they ran with it there. Whoa, what a night! I might have had a drop too much. And Carla, good God, never thought she could knock him back like that. Hey, where is she? I don't even remember her leaving. Oh, a note. Keith, darling, maybe I should have told you that yesterday was my last day on Thino. I'm working on another secret project at a different research facility, so please don't try to find me. All the best for now. Someone with your talents is always needed all over the galaxy. Thanks for last night. Maybe we can do it again sometime. Carla. P.S. As final payment for your services to Deep Science, we'll transfer another 40,000 credits to your account. That Carla always wondering, what always payment for anyway? needing my good, wallet. <laughs> but I'm not that good. Can't help feeling that I've just been used, though. Oh, well, whatever. Time for another drink. I hope I can find my way back to the bar. Maybe I'll see if I can land another job while I'm there. Right. Oh, they're actually actually putting me in the bar. I wonder. Greetings. Uh, experience wingman. No thanks. Uh, octopods. I have something that might be of interest to you. 
Their homing missiles and you get the goods. I'll find the buyer. Right, and then I need you. Help. Need you to escort my freighters. Okay, so it's just basically normal, the normal run-of-the-mill missions. Uh, if we look at the map, so basically they're just saying, "Hey, guess what? Now you're on your own. You, you've gone through all the structured stuff. Now have some fun on your own." So you see the there's a couple stars in in here, like in and around here that I haven't uh, found pathways to, found ways to explore. So I don't know if they are, I assume some of them might have like some secrets in them maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But honestly, it doesn't feel like there's a whole lot more for me to do other than, other than what I've already done. Let's just go here for, for kicks. Since I can jump anywhere I want to, any way I want. And uh... See if anybody in the bar here has coordinates to some of these other stars that are around here. Maybe. Maybe possibly. Alright. Go land ourselves down here. So yeah, I don't know what else what more else to do with it other than this. Let's just really quickly take a look at it. I feel like they oh, played for more than 10 hours. I, I'm an addict. Uh, detonated more than 5 bombs. We fought off the voids. Void terror. Space saver. Had more than 250 tons of free cargo space. Okay. Getting all the achievements anyway. Um, let's look here at the space lounge. Hey, you look like a shark now. Uh, wager, no. Hello. Good weather, no. Okay. I you? I something special. No. Alright, so I would have to go around, basically, and try to find all these all these things, I would imagine. Which I don't really uh, need <laughs> in my life, honestly. Uh, no missions. Good time to go and earn some medals. Yeah, basically they're just saying like, here, the universe is now yours. So, that's not bad. I do feel like they cut off the credits though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the credits were rather short. Uh, I wonder if I can... Info? Ah, here we go. These are the credits. No, I guess they went through all the credits. So, there you go. English recordings and all that stuff. Okay, and special thanks and all that fun stuff. Galaxy on Fire 2 Full HD. Okay, so we've done that. Uh, I was not expecting to be done right away. I thought maybe there would be something else for it. Uh, again, kind of a bummer for those of you watching it on YouTube, but hey, another one in the bag, my friends. Another one in the bag. So, with that said, I'm kind of not ready to be finished with the stream yet either but 